Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about Eversign. As you probably thought, it's uh, the application for uh, signing your uh, legal papers. We'll go through some pros and cons with, uh, with Eversign, we'll check the pricing and also then we'll go and sign some documents. So exciting stuff. So Eversign is a revolutionary application that is designed to change the very prosaic way of uh, verifying and attesting any and all legally binding documents by introducing uh, digital signatures acro uh, across platforms. With this software, one can securely approve, sign and deliver all the necessary documents online. This application lets uh, businesses uh, go truly paperless by taking care of sensitive data like business contracts and agreements on the cloud. By introducing the most secured and well-monitored e-signature platform ever created. The flexibility of this platform makes uh, sure that both uh, big and small businesses are compatible with it uh, from the very core of their operations. Eversign uh, is not only uh, helping the businesses, but it's also helping uh, the earth in its uh, conquest to reduce carbon footprint by uh, syncing the documents of several businesses which are under the same enterprise. Eversign is playing a key role in decluttering the global uh, conglomerate and uh, saving a lot of precious trees in the process as well. So kudos for that. It's made for all types of uh, it's made for all types of businesses, from small to large enterprises. Even individuals can sign their papers. Um, I'm using it in my uh, work to basically sign the voicemails. If we check the pricing, we see that uh, ever we <laughs> we can try it for free. Uh, it's a light version, five documents per month, zero template, SMS two SMS credits, and uh, three EPI documents. Then we have a basic, make sure make use of core e-signature features, ideal for small teams, for uh, $9.99 per month, or $7.99 if you want to be built uh, annually. Also, we have 10 EPI documents and uh, that's very nice for integration plus one team member then professional and professional plus for all the bigger uh, all the bigger players so once we go and uh, we go to our dashboard or we start uh, our free trial that's what i started you don't have to give them any types of uh, credit cards uh, information so uh, that's a very nice thing. And when we are in here, when we already ask for the free version and we are inside, we can start and go signing our documents. For example, we have a dashboard in here with all the awaiting signatures. We don't have any at the moment. Uh, we have our signature uh, here and initials here, but we can edit it anytime. For example, it's a default signature, but we can uh, add a new one in signature. Type signature, Matthew King, or we have, uh, we can draw it. Let's go like this, Matthew King and save. And as you can see, this is my new signature and we can make it default so in documents actually we are going to use the one that we uh used from uh, signable so new document we have to choose a file we go with this sample one uh, as you can see signable thank you for this one and then we can add signers For now, it will be Matt King. We are going to use different email as a signer. 
uh, title or message. Please sign this document. Yeah, pull it so fast. Document settings enable auto reminders require and then we can add a template, but uh, we don't have any since we're running this free version. And what are we missing? We go for prepare. At the moment, we see the fields that we can fill in. So we can use the signature. Signature is going to be here. We are going to use this one and we sign it. We can make it bigger and smaller. It's up to you. Like this, date. So we are going to date sign use here. Then name. We are going with full name in here. Make it bigger. We can go now with uh, pure text. Telephone number, which is also a text, I believe. Yes. Contact preferences. We can go with email. Or we have a post, so that's a text. And uh, proof of ID, we can go and check the attachments for someone just to drop the file here, for example, a photo of the ID and issued by also full name. And then we can just send it. It's signed. And now we can download it, but we can also go and check it at uh, recipients uh, uh, end of a chain. So let me log into different um, accounts where we send this just to show you where it is, but it doesn't arrive yet. Okay, never mind. We have a template. Uh, at the moment, we don't have any, but we can always add a new one as we did before. We can import it from Dropbox, import from a box, import from OneDrive, Google Drive, or uh, Docracy. Then we have our uh, contacts. We can always add a new one. That's not a problem at all. Then team. At the our version, which is a trial that you, I strongly recommend you to try first before committing and finding out if this is the one. At the moment, we don't we can't really uh, go with more because we have just a, a team of one, which is only me. We can't go further, but uh, then we can add by email address uh, new members if we pay like uh, $10 a month or $8 a month. That's very nice. Uh, trash and also business settings. I have to say it's really, really um, easy to create the documents, uh, create the templates or send the invoices for your uh, peers in the work. So I strongly recommend you using uh, Eversign. In my opinion, one of the best uh, that they are out there, out there. Signable, DocuSign, Eversign, all of them does basically the same job, but with a different approach, different visuals. So it's completely up to you which one you prefer. All of them are offering pretty nice uh, uh, free versions or uh, free modes. So we'll just can go and download them and find out which one is the best for you. If you have any questions about uh, these uh, applications, feel free to ask me under the video any types of 
uh, questions i'll try to answer them as quickly as po possible obviously connected to every side and thanks for watching boys and girls see you in the next one have a great day